Hey guys, go to RGS and finally Canadian Mode has released Canadian Mode 14.1 for our OnePlus 2 before 3 days I guess. So I've been testing it from 3 days and this is the first build so don't expect too much out of it. So without any further ado, let's get started with the review. So guys, Canadian Mode 14.1 has been released before 3 days as I just now said. And when Canadian Mode 13 has been released, I could not use it because it has so many bugs. So this is the first build of 14.1, so let's see if you can use this ROM as your daily driver on your OnePlus 2. So starting this with the Android game. We have lost the Android game in the Android N if so many people have known it. And it's replaced by these emojis, I have no idea why did they do that. So being the first build, it is delivering me some good performance. but it does lag sometimes, like this benchmark score. Keep it things Snapdragon 801 heating issues in my mind. I have tested this benchmark in the best way possible, keeping it really low. And in Canadian Mode 13, I got like 1 lakh benchmark score, so there's a lot of difference. But in performance wise, this is really good. So, guys, coming to Geo, you get like 40 megabits of download speed in this room. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, just leave it. We got the same old speeds and stuff, but we do get our Geo apps to be working, which did not work in some builds of Canada Mode 13. So, every single app in the Geo family is working, so that's definitely a positive news for Geo users. So, guys, the fingerprint is working, but slower than CM13. Yep, it is slower than Canada Mode 13, but I promise that it would definitely improve its time with day to day updates because this being the first build. But and it's not that fast, extremely slow, but it definitely works. And we got our gestures so over here, the camera opens, the shutter is really fast. And this app is bot app from the OnePlus, uh, which I flashed in this. And if you guys want to know how to, how to flash it, just check the link in the description. And also the video works sometimes, which I'll speak after some time. So you can shoot 4K, 1080p and 1080p as always and normal. Optical image stabilization and laser autofocus both are working. In the first build, that's a really good sign. Definitely a good one. So come to battery life. I've got a really good graph for battery life and seriously, I love the battery life in Android 7.1. Seriously, I love it. You get really good screen on time. Like it's mentioned three hours over here. I've been charging my phone a bit, but the best battery life. So now going to the settings menu. You guys are quite familiar with this from Canadian mode. But in this you get some suggestions which are Android 7.1s and for every toggle you get some information related to that toggle like memory, battery percentage, storage, apps and stuff and we did find some bugs in the settings menu. Going to status bar you cannot change the icon of the battery from portrait to landscape or anything else. I, I, I seriously personally love circle but I can't do this. It's fixed to portrait rectangle that's it you just can't change it. So guys coming to the performance wise thingy where you can know that if you can use this as your daily driver or not. I download a lot of apps from Google Play Store. I view a lot of videos on YouTube. I'm a music lover so I do listen to a lot of online music. And definitely browsing net on Chrome and other things like Facebook, Instagram and I do manage my YouTube channel with the Creator Studio app. All of this is done on LTE turned on all day. and. This is a really fluid experience but it's gonna lag sometimes, sometimes occasionally, just not big case. So come to charging, it's gonna take like 1 hour 30 minutes to charge from 0 to 100. Really good improvement compared to other rooms. So good right? So coming to bugs sort of stuff, you can easily repair a few bugs and the two major bugs which I found are lag which can be easily repaired with the occasional reboot and the second one is you need to select ask always for the default sim which you need to call or else it's gonna select some random sim and call from that occasionally it's not gonna happen every time and the third bug which is the biggest bug as I've known and I don't have solution for that except a restart is the camera app does not work after some time I mean the, only the video part so leaving the whole thing aside the audio clarity in the Canadian Mode 14.1 is really good. I use Quick Beats which are Bluetooth headset and I also use some Sony headphones. And by default I use this application called as Wink to listen to my music. And I stream full HD music so I don't have any problem with audio. So the best audio clarity I can get. And coming to status bar. As you all 
if you guys are coming from Canon Mode 12 13, you guys have an idea about Canon Mode status bar, its customizability and stuff. But I don't know if this is an option in Android Nougat or Canon Mode, but you get a few quick toggles like Shazams and etc with applications which you download. So if you download extra apps, you get like extra toggles and stuff. And these are some toggles which I have no idea why they're here. I guess they are developer options. So I'm just not gonna mess with them. Just leave it. And you get your extra toggles which you can set at any place you want. And it would definitely, you know, like give you two pages of it. So finally, if you ask me, can I flash this room or not? Definitely flash it. You guys can definitely use it with proper settings and stuff. So uh, do like and subscribe. That would definitely help the channel. And if you guys have any doubts, please do comment. So thank you for watching. RGS, like and subscribe.